So hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about some remaining input fields of the form element. So let's start this video with the field set. So field set is a form element which is used to group the related elements. For example, if you want to separate the user information by category, you can do that with this element. You can see I have created the six input fields with the type text. Now these three input fields are for my information and the last three input fields are for my father's information. You can see your name, your email and your date of birth and here you have to type your father's name, your father's email and your father's date of birth. And lastly we have a submit button for submitting these values to the server. Now let's group them by using the field set element. Paste your values or your element here. And now also copy these three elements and paste it inside the field set. Now you can see these values are divided into two different groups. Now let's check the output in the browser. You can see my fields are divided in two categories with the borders around each of my category. So these are the field sets. Now if you want to give the title to your field sets, you can do so by using the legend tag. Now let's go to the VS code and specify the legend tag here in our field set. Let's create a legend tag here and give it a name as personal information. Personal info and for my father's one let's give it a father's info title. Now let's go back again. You can see the legend tag added the title of the between the borders of the field set. Now the last thing for today's video is the data list. Now the data list specifies a predefined list for the input elements. You can add the autocomplete functionality with this element but with the predefined values. You can define different values in this using the options element. So let's create a data list inside my form. Let's delete all that data. Let's also get rid of this. So let's create a input list. Just type input and just delete that type and specify the list attribute here and here you are gonna give the id of the data list so now let's create a data list just type data list you can see the emmet is giving me the suggestion data l so just click on the suggestion and you can see my data list is created. Just specify the ID here. I'm gonna name it as cars. You can name it whatever you want. And now create a list of options here inside the data list options. So in the value attribute give the value that you want to store on the server. Although we are not working with the server side language, but when you work with the server side language, you must give the value that you want to store on your database. So let's give it a Ferrari name. 
and whatever you type in between this options element will be displayed to the user so ferrari let's change it to ferrari let me copy and paste this five or five or six more times copy it with control c and five more times let me change these values quickly you can see i have specified the value for each of my option and i have also specified the id here so let's copy this id and paste it in our list attribute of the input and now our my data list has been created now let's go to the chrome browser you can see this is my data list of predefined values i can select my favorite one which is ferrari now i am able to submit this you can see my values are submitted and everything works fine so that is it for the video guys I hope you learned a lot from this video. Now, now catch you guys in the next one.